Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you one last time from Tulare, California. We are going to be on our way home today and looking forward to what God has to show us of the, the beauty of our own country here on the West Coast as we drive north. But I'm grateful for the time we've had here and grateful to be back home, home this Sunday to worship with you. Our word of encouragement comes from Psalm 117. Uh, it's only a couple of verses long. It says, Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For great is his love toward us. And the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but my heart is wanting to praise the Lord this morning. Uh, what a gracious, awesome God we serve. A God who loves us not because of what we do or, or what we've done, but because of who we are, which are his creation. Uh, the only thing it takes to receive his rewards, to become part of his family, is for us to choose him. For us to say we want to be a part of his family and to act like part of his family. You know, we live in a world today where we can say we're family with anybody, uh, pretty much. The, the world has come to a point, at least our country has come to a point, where you can uh, say or do or be just about anything you want to be. If you want to be a cat, you can probably get away with that or whatever the case. But, you know, to truly become part of a family, then you start acting like the family. You spend time with the family. You, you know, you identify with the family and, and what they do and how they do things. And, and that's this, you know, the same really with God. If we want to identify with God's family, uh, we want to be part of it. We want to act like it. We want to join up with family members and, and, and do all the things that the family does and be representative. And that's what we're talking about when it comes to being a part of the family of God. Uh, God has set the standard, if you will. God is righteous. God is holy. God is love. He, God is grace. He has all these attributes. Um, and we can have those things. And now, we're not going to be perfect this side of heaven. Don't get me wrong. And uh, we're always going to have ways to grow this side of heaven. Uh, when we are glorified into heaven, then, uh, you know, obviously we get our, our new bodies. And we now we will know all that God has to offer us. Uh, but for this part of it, this part of life, God is here. And he's offering himself to us uh, through the love and work of Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection. You know, we are now part of God's family. Uh, we've been adopted into the kingdom. Uh, and so I say that to say today that we want to praise the Lord. We want to, to let people know who he is. We want to share how awesome he is because they too can be part of the family. And the great thing is it doesn't take away from us. Our inheritance doesn't become less. Uh, the love that God has for us doesn't become less. It simply becomes all the more as we join with other family members. And so that's uh, why we can really say that uh, praise the Lord. Uh, his love truly is great towards us and his faithfulness lasts forever. We never have to worry that God is going to change his mind or somehow decide to do things differently. God is faithful. God is love and he wants us to be a part of it. The question is, will we accept it? Will we become part of his family? And if we are a part of his family, do we try to stay close with him? Uh, you know, as times, I think with the ebb and flow of life, we sometimes feel closer to our family than others uh, based on where we live or, or how we interact. All those things can make a difference. And so today I would encourage you to... Um, you know, examine your own heart, examine your, your motives, examine uh, the, the things you do. Are we doing everything we can to be close to the Lord and close to his family? Um, you know, one great thing about being part of God's family is God's family is everywhere across this great big world. We come down here to uh, to Larry and uh, Stacy's family is here and our church family from Pixley is here. And we just, run, you know, find people and uh, get to hang out with people and people invite us over. And, and we just have a great time being with them. And even though we don't see them a lot, uh, we know that they're, they're part of our family. Uh, and, and everywhere we go, we can find family. Uh, and so I just want to encourage you to think about the family that God has given us. Um, the fact that the truth is we can go anywhere we want as Christians and go into a Christ-loving church and find family members. And how awesome that is that we're never really alone when we're part of God's family. And so, again, we give God all the glory and praise. He set this whole thing up and he's given it to us uh, that we might enjoy this life. Not that it's always going to be easy. Not that it's always, you know, roses and all those things but that God will be with us and that uh, his love and his people will walk beside us and help us and pray for us along the way. Oh, what an awesome God we serve, and he really does deserve all of our praise. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your great love for us. Father, I pray that you would just continue uh, to bless us, bless us as we travel, bless others as they may be traveling or spending time on vacations, and bless those that are working today, those who are at home and doing their normal things. Father, may your hand be upon each and every person. May your will be done in our lives. And Father, may we just sense your presence along the way. Father, provide us the safety and the traveling mercies as you see fit. And Father, we just trust you that you'll help us to have a wonderful day because this is the day you have created and we're going to rejoice in it. Again, we thank you, O God, for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.